Hi, my name is Derek Molson. I work for Short Racing. And today we're going to start a series of videos that will show you how to correctly wrap and install the seat belts in your race car. So today we're going to start out with the, with the most basic. The uh, Most of our belts, our Profi 2s, all come with 2-inch flexi lap belts. So we'll start with that wrap. First, this is a B14 and this is our LV4. And as you can see, the LV4 has almost an S orientation. So to get the wrap correctly, it's important it's installed right. So what we do is we take the belt, come through it, so the high side of the LV4 is on top. And then what we can do is we take the B14, we come down through the top, come back around and through the back of the LV4. That completes a circle and then from there we take our webbing, we come back through the B14, pull through and then we come back through the middle of the LV4 where the two belts originally came through and then pull tight. It's important to leave yourself a little bit of extra webbing because you want about three to four inches worth of extra material on the end for this last part. So we come back through the bottom of the B14 and then down through the top of the LV4 again. At this point, that locks our wrap and it's complete. Now what we can also do is we can also use an LV10 for the same thing. It's not as lightweight and it takes a little bit more space, but the wrap is much easier. So what we do is we start with the LV10 come up through the bottom and down through the top and then for this we'll use our B24 bolt in piece come up through the bottom so as you can see I come right there take the webbing come back through bottom of the LV10 down through the top and then back through the back of the LV10 to lock it now, you can either leave it like this, where you have the extra on top, or what you can do is you can take your extra webbing and put it down through the B24 again, and that'll just make everything look clean on top, and you can take and roll the extra webbing and, and secure it with a zip tie. Now, you can also use the LV10 and the LV4 on your shoulder harnesses, and I'll take you through that right now. Now that we're in the back of one of the race cars at our shop, I'm going to show you how to correctly install the shoulder belts. It's going to be the exact same wraps as we did in the lap belts, so it's very simple. What we do is we'll start out, we take the LV10, come up through the bottom, pull some length through, come down through the top, at this point leave yourself plenty of extra webbing, come underneath the roll bar, and come back up through the bottom of the LV10 and down through the top again. At this point, we'll take the tail strap and come back down through the top of the LV10. We pull the remainder of the webbing tight, making sure that the LV10 sits on top of the roll bar with that last three bar, and that'll support the wrap in the event of an accident. So now we can do the same wrap as we did on our lap with the LV4. So what we do is we take the LV4 and as you can see the S index will actually be reverse upside down of what we did with the lap belt. So that slides on through there. At this point we come underneath the roll bar and complete the circle on the top. So we come down through the top of the LV4 and then we come underneath the roll bar, coming back up through the middle of the LV4. So at this point, we pull the extra webbing through. The piece comes around, and as you can see, it'll come and lock underneath the LV4 one more time, in which case we pull tight, and that completes the wrap. And as you can see, the LV4 is indexed where the fat side is actually on top of the bar supporting the wrap. So we pull tight and as you can see the wrap is complete. So now we use the two different pieces just to show as an example but you'll actually use consistent hardware across the board for your install. So now we have these extra lengths of webbing so what we recommend is you take the webbing and actually roll it up and go right to the back of the adjuster with it and then you're going to take a zip tie you're going to come through the center yeah, right there. Pull it down. And at that point, the remainder of the webbing 
is retained and not floating around the back of the car. And the same goes with the LV4 wrap. Just roll it up. Again, take your zip tie, come through the center, lock it down, and it just provides a nice clean appearance to the install. Now, with the three inch belts, they're literally going to be the exact same wrap. The only difference is the hardware we're going to use. Instead of the LV10, the, the hardware is called an LV7, still the same three bar style. And for the LV4, the correct hardware is the LV17. That concludes today's video. Thank you. We'll see you at the track.